Good morning, this is Erwin St. Rose reporting for WKEJ News in Chicago. In the business world, the U.S. stock market took investors on a stomach churning ride today as the Dow Jones National Average weekly plans more than 1,000 points and sent a shiver of fear from Wall Street to Main Street. Stocks regained much of that ground as the day wore on. But the slump, part of a global wave of selling triggered by the slowdown in China, reflected uncertainty among investors over where to put their money when the world's second largest economy is in a slag. What's a company that's doing business with China actually worth right now? When you're not sure, you tend to sell, said J.G. Kinnahan, TD Ameritrade's chief strategist. The Dow fell 588.47 points. The S&P 500 index slid 77.68 points. The Nasdaq composite shed 179.79 points. Three indexes are down for the year. In national news, authorities in Louisiana are working to connect the possible deaths between two killings, that of Louisiana State Trooper Stephen Vincent and another man who officials have not yet named. The second victim was believed to have been sharing a home with Kevin Dial, 54, who authorities say has been charged in Vincent's death. 44 year old veteran trooper was shot Sunday after he stopped to help Daniel, whose pickup was stuck in a ditch, according to Colonel Michael Edmondson, the police force superintendent. Vincent died of his injuries yet today. In discussing a possible connection between the two slings, the sheriff said the investigators are looking to, into the. In local news, two teenagers from Kansas City who bought tickets to Sunday to last night's One Direction concert at Soldier Field will not attend the show after they discovered their tickets were fake. The teens said that they purchased their tickets on Craigslist for $380 and completed the ticket exchange and EV Pier on Saturday. When they checked them out at a ticket master outlet, they were told the tickets were fake. When they contacted, when they contacted the man who sold them the tickets, the teens said they received a service text in response saying the phone could not receive a message. Since the person was selling it has two more tickets, you should just take precaution and don't end up like we did, one of the teens said. The victims of the scams then they tried to file a police report, but the officer just told them they should not have purchased the tickets from Craigslist. Instead of enjoying the concert inside the Soldier Field, the fans said they will listen to the music outside of the stadium before returning. In sports news, George Harris stands in front of the hall named in his honor. The Bears yesterday unveiled a statue of their founder and placed it in front of the entrance to Halos Hall, the practice facility. There's only the statue to stand outside the building. The white bronze statue is 1,600 pounds or 8 feet, 8 inches tall. It sits on a 48 by 48 by 20 inch granite base. It was sculpted by artist Chad Fisher and unveiled in a small ceremony yesterday. In world news, Moscow's naturists are facing eviction from the city's only real nudist speech after a city councilor accused him of a public depravity. A wooded beach in a forested park on Moscow's River, seven miles west of the city center, Sarah Bayani Bor, has been favored by the Russian capital, Nazareth's community, since the early 1990s. And veteran Nazareth say the question of closing it up comes almost every year. There's lots of factors, but the main ones that it is very valuable real estate in the area, and that there are families who use the park and understandably don't want to run into naked people, said Sergei Mityushkin the head of the Moscow section of Telor, the Naturist Association. But it now seems the beach's days and the Naturist refugees may finally be coming to an end. Ludmila Stepakova, a counselor from Vladimir Putin's United Russia Party and the chairs of the city public health committee, launched an eviction campaign earlier this month, saying a plague of drunken, violent, and lascivious naturalists have made it the no-goal area for families. Being naked is a central part of being human. If nudists aren't bothering anyone, then there's no need to bother them, said Anton Paliv, another city councillor, in comments to local media. So many needs to be done, but I've got no negative attitude to these people. This has been Erwin St. Rose reporting for the UK EJ News in Chicago. Have a great day. On to next time, Chicago.